Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mass Effect. So now then... I doubt I can just unequip such. Now yeah, I don't have any other armor I can wear for her. I can just unequip it. Thank you for just watching no armor so Shep would be wearing pink, but oh well. I cannot do that. Yet. Yet. So anyway, let us count. I just realized my mic is in a very odd place. Sorry about that guys, just notice that. And just lightly. Okay. Hopefully that's Damn it. Hopefully that's... Hopefully that's better. Okay. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them! Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Hi. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Bye, you don't want Gary. to keep the Council waiting. I keep the cancer waiting. Oh no. Don't oh, keep the cancer waiting. Gotta get to them. Just some guy sitting here like, yo, I'm just sitting here. You won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the bullets will be riding their coattails if they succeed. So many keepers. Just standing there. I can talk to you about. So many keepers. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Oh, I can find anything. The hearing's already started. Come on. Oh, time to go piss the council off. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern. But there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? You can expect me to kill you the next time we meet. Just random Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. 
There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Mm. This meeting is adjourned. You are so disappointed. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. <laughs> Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. We... Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Oh god, so many questions. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Who cares if we get a seat on the Council? What's the big deal? If the Council passes a ruling on an interstellar matter, we have to follow it. We don't have the fleets or political allies to defy them. Once we get a seat on the Council, we'll be able to influence those rulings. Protect our own interests. No more jumping through hoops whenever we want something. Take this mess we're in now. If humanity had a seat on the Council, we'd just send the Citadel fleet out to take care of Saren and his Geth. I don't Problem think it solved. that way, but... <laughs> After method thinking, anyway. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, Alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. <laughs> well, I'm an if the embassy wasn't ass. protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. c is better off without him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone. Behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. 
It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Huzzah! I was going to ask him about his history of it, but so many bloody questions. Like, holy crap. All the questions. So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling we're in over our heads, Commander? I like that fountain. <laughs> She's all being serious about it and kidding. She's like, I like the fountain. <laughs> oh, that's that's just fun. Uh, anyway, we should probably stop just looking around. I doubt those random loop like super mods. Super mods. Do 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 do. That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the keeper. Um, what? can I help you oh, or something? No, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work <sighs> myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Time for fun times. There's a scan train one of them. This is gonna be fun. Like, you know. I was trying one of those fuckers. No, I haven't. Commander. Uh the scan has been upload to the database. Yeah, I'll wait. Doesn't seem like I have much choice. This is going to take. Wow. To find Maybe. every one of them. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. But that's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just I. 
Yeah, there's three. Hope I didn't miss any in here. There's a lot of buggers everywhere. I go just fast traveled from the rapid transit thing, but oh well. Yay, loading. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Huzzah! Check the elevator mirrors a place right as you're about to exit the elevator. So what's going on here? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. This is the Presidium, not a church. Evangelize somewhere else. This one's beliefs will not be suppressed. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you can't solve this problem, you don't even deserve to be in seasick. I didn't ask for your help, human. <laughs> God, I'm such an ass. I can deal with this myself. The seasick officer states that this one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. The seasick officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Uh, uh. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Uh, uh. Finances are only a partial limitation. I don't want to. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. That. I knew it. You're not just evangelizing, you're panhandling. This one desires no charity. It only desires to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Don't I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message.
Grr, I need more intimidate. More intimidate. I will be back to get more intimidation. Yes, basically we're going to go all over the facility, I'm hopeful, in this episode. And after that we can go with the rest of the Citadel. Huzzah. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepard. You were at Torfin, correct? You led the final assault against the enemy base, if memory serves. I don't like strangers keeping tabs on me. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation, so I am going to let you have it for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business, until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. <laughs> then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances. But my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. 
nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. A shadow broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. Interesting. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. I should go. Huzzah. Goodbye, Commander. Leveled up. Increase our intimidation. I prefer to get up there, but. Oh, there we go. We got to intimidate. Eh, we can put no point in all. That way, that's how we can get first aid. You, I want you to put that on. Hmm. Okay. There we go. Uh, yes, you. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, Hanar only refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Who are you? Who are you? This one. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. So we have non-human armors. We have armor. We have heavy armor for the and... And medium armor However, we can't really buy any of this yet. Oh, I'm trying to buy Commander, it show is me good. your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. Yeah, with the upgrades. So we have an armor upgrade, a weapon upgrade. Health regeneration. It's not bad, actually. Commander. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. And you will have standard items. We have a very, a very expensive shotgun. So, if I, a license. Just some stuff we can't really afford. Uh, uh, did I accept? I think I'll be going. Return soon. This one receives new shipments regularly.
Don't try and talk to you. Commander, it is good to see you again. Yes. Show me your items. Try to buy. Oh, this one is pleased things. to do so. Okay, I guess we're good. Okay, okay, never mind, we're good. We're good. Hey, look, a keeper. Scan. Okay, how long is this very gone for? Right, bit. Yeah, so we have to. That's great zone. Let's find Garrus. Let's find rats. Yeah, I'll speak to that prophet. Maybe I can't now that my. Don't. Marcus. Maybe I can speak to that hat again. Now that my stuff is upgraded. Slightly. Anyway, we're going to explore. Hey, look, I know what keep her. Scan. The keeper has scan has been uploaded to the database. It's now. We. Five times. I know, loads of times. Oh. Uh, okay. That was a bit weird. Let's go first to the console chamber. And then round our way back. Okay. Frickin' wall in my way. So we're gonna visit the console chamber, then round our way back to find more creep uh, keepers. <laughs> or instead of creepers. Welcome, I am Nalina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Ominous um, music. And that ass. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Okay, then. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Welcome. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. 
you're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. I don't know if I'll, anyway. We. Oui. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. We oui. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. We. Oui. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Stop rubbing my crotch. <laughs> I will. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Those we wish it was. That should consider it. We. This video has gone on for quite a while. However, we must continue. Not to have to proceed I have to admit I'm a little nervous. That's understandable. Many are a little unsure what to expect their first time. Now we head back to the embassies. Find more keepers. Push more buttons. Oh, the fun times. And lower screens. Oh yeah, apparently I don't know why I said that that was basically hardly an exploration of the Citadel and Mass Effect 2. I forgot you go to well the wards again in Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Guess that I was just meant the Presidio. Enough presidium stuff. That's what to do. Anyway. Let's find more keepers. Yay, I doubt there's any over here. Where would I think there's one? How do I think it? I thought there was one here. Good news, there isn't. That's a waste. Now there's one in his office. I'll talk to Captain Anderson. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way, innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. And that somehow just get me with the cape points. You'd think it would. Okay, I guess it's on the other side. Let's find keepers. Yeah, look at the 
Keeper. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Wrong door. Okay. Yes, yeah, there's you. Shepard, what can I do for you now? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. And our keeper. There we go. Yeah, from credits reach that big. And then, let's see, where was that? Ah, oh, yeah, so over there. I don't know where I need to go up to. So, yeah. Oh, we're going to see if we can threaten the hand or two. Fuck her off. Now they have more points to a intimidate. The CSEC officers. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching. CSEC up. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. I'll be back. This one will continue to spread its message. You do that. I need more points. More points. So, yes. so now then, in the next episode, we shall go to the wards. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day.